Good day, good people. King from Cannonball Co-op here, and I am back with some more dark and light information to help you get your servers up and going. Finally, at long last, we have a dark and light server manager. I say at long last, I'm not sure it may have been here around earlier, but I've just now found it while I was doing some research uh, for a video I want to do, which I try to include in this one right here for Anarchy Burger 99. Thanks, man, for giving me the idea to look into admin commands and spawn codes. First, I want to work on getting a server set up with Arc Server Manager. And then if we have time in this video, I'll go into talking about like spawn commands as well. Because uh, I think these will all fit in together quite well. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to this website. I'll put the address in the download, so don't worry about that. And you're going to want to click on latest here to download uh, this zip file. So we'll just go ahead and do that. I want to save it. And it's saving, it's not very big, 8.3 megabytes, that's saving that down to my desktop. And once that's finished downloading, we're gonna go ahead and open the folder where it's downloaded. Yeah, and there it is, right there, latest zip. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna copy this. And then you're gonna wanna navigate to wherever it is you're planning on installing the, uh, the your server manager. So I, I'm gonna do that on my D drive, that's my games drive, so I hit paste. And now what you do is you just say, Extract all, and you give it a name. Uh, for instance, in my case, I think I call it uh, Dark and Light Server Manager. And then you just hit Extract. Now, I've already done that here, so I have it right here, my Dark and Light Server Manager. Now, this is going to be a different folder than where your actual servers are. This is just for this manager software. So once you got it downloaded, well, all you got to do is go in here and click this Dark the server manager to start it. It is gonna ask you to be run as administrator. Uh, if you don't want it to ask you that every time, you can go to properties, compatibility, and put it on run as administrator right from the start. That's what I do. Okay, so once uh, it's finished downloading the Steam CMD and downloading the dark and light server uh, files, then it's gonna open up and you have just a blank thing here like this. Now, if you've ever played with an Arc Server Manager, if you've ever managed your own Arc Server with this, with the Arc Server Manager, this is gonna look completely familiar and you're gonna know exactly what to do. Uh, for those of you who haven't, let's run through it real quick. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit this little uh, plus button here to create a new server. So we're gonna have to give it a name and I'm gonna call mine Kingdom Come. And then you're gonna want to say where the server should be installed. Now, I already had the server installed, so I'm gonna point it to that same folder and hope everything works the way I expect it to. And I have my dark and light dedicated server installed right here. So I'm gonna just say it should go there. And we're gonna name the server, again, Kingdom Come. We're gonna give it a password. Now, from the things I've read, it. I, this may have changed, but from what I've read, a lot of people are having problems. It's because they weren't using all caps for their server password. So I'm going to use all caps here. I'm going to just call it let me in. I will change that password later, not to fear. And then we're going to want our admin password. This is going to be important for when we go into admin sheets and spawn codes later on. So I'm going to call this one power me. I wanted to say give me the power or I have the power, but that's just too long. So we'll just call it power me. Your ports, it already defaults to the ports you want. These are the same ports Arc uses, same ports uh, Conan Extinction uses. So uh, you should be great here. You can set your maximum number of players. And basically everything here has, uh, they have pop-ups. So you can just kind of go through everything and set it up to your liking. One thing I will say, the autosave period every 15 minutes, that can cause some lag. So I'm gonna bump mine up uh, quite a bit more. Uh, you can put in a message of the day, you know, have fun, whatever. Uh, you can have various different settings here but there's nothing really you need to change what what's going to be interesting for you are here we can in the rules for instance you can enable pvp or uh, disable friendly fire enable pve cave building for instance might be interesting uh, disable friendly fire um what else is there oh use the corpse locator 
But actually, this game has its own built-in corpse locator anyway, so I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't play with that, to be honest. What you probably are going to be looking for are the player settings. Maybe you want to have five times experience. Maybe instead of just uh, 60, you want to take that up to where you can get, you know, 100 let you can get to level 200 level 200 i don't know level 150 let's just go ahead and put it 100 uh damage resistance water drain maybe you want to have the water drain because you don't like getting thirsty so often same thing with food drain maybe go ahead and have that stamina drain maybe you want to be able to run longer health recovery maybe you want to have a little bump up there harvesting damage should all can leave that i think Creature settings, same thing. I can give them a max XP cap. Uh, can change the amount of damage they do. Again, how hungry they get or whatnot. Now, as I'm looking at this, this is definitely taken from uh, the Arc Commander. So I'm not sure how many of all these settings will actually really work in a dark and light. Uh, because they're definitely, some of those things are definitely specifically uh, for Arc. Uh, taming speed, that's something that people like to bump a lot, you know, get that up to 10. Uh, harvest amount, you know, maybe you want to have a five times harvest. And uh, respawn, I will leave that normal. I like to I like to lower the suppress radius because I like to have bushes and things uh, respawn back close to my house. Uh, I like them for decoration, for whatever. You can change your daytime cycling speeds, all this stuff and structure resistance tons of stuff basically you just have to work through here on your own you can set up custom progression levels and and everything so go ahead and just um look through this everything has a mouse hover so you can hover a mouse over it it'll tell you what it is play with these things till you get them to your liking i'm gonna say that works for me and hit save okay and once that's done i can now uh so since i'd already had it installed i don't have to install it if you didn't you would then now have to hit install and it would start downloading and installing the the dedicated server uh, okay I'm gonna go ahead though and do an upgrade verify okay it's finished that upgrade process and now we're gonna go ahead and start it there we go so whoop. yeah there we go server starting up Again, this is just like Arc. We'll have to sit here, wait for a little bit till it gets started. And I will bring you guys back once the server's up and running. Okay, so that first time startup did take a little while, I must admit, but it's now finally started up. You know it's startup because it says full startup. It tells you it took me 312 seconds, and uh, it's using two cores, and that's the version number. So let's go ahead now and jump off of my game server here and jump on to my gaming rig so i'll bring you right back once i get dark and light started up okay so we're back here on my gaming rig and i've got the game started this is the moment of truth we're going to click on play online sacred path aha there we are it's there and favorited oh wait let's see if it's in lan yeah that's it it's there okay so we're gonna go ahead and click join password was uh, let me in Perfect. Okay, so again, we're going to go ahead and just uh, make a character here real quick. You know, I've never tried the humans. So let's go ahead and try a human this time. Next. Yeah, we'll just take you. You work fine. Whatever. Can't even see. Oh, there's the message. The have fun message that we put in. So we know that worked. Start the game. Gabby? For a guy? No, I think not. If you want to have it that way, it's going to be Gabriel then. Okay, so... Go ahead and start. And we are in with 20 frames. No, there we go. 50, 50 frames a second. That's great. Okay, so we are now in and playing. Just uh, real quick, let's test some harvesting here. Punch some barrels. Oh, right away. Oh, that's working beautiful. Um, oh, I already leveled up too because that's right. I put the five times leveling. Ah, uh, so we know that works. Oh, you know what? And I put five times harvesting. Let me find something else to punch. Because that's true, that was giving me five gold each thing. Yeah, it's, uh, I think, yeah. I think it's definitely giving me a lot more. 
than normal. Okay, so we're, we know everything works. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the admin sheets and the spawn codes. So what I've done is I searched the net and I went ahead and I put together uh, a list of all the spawn codes I found on the net. You can search the net, you can find them on your own, but for your convenience, I've put it all together into an Excel file, into a single Excel file. I'll upload that and you'll find a link to it in the download. So the first thing is, uh, basically it works just like it does in Arc, but you're gonna need to know how to open the console. So if you go ahead and hit escape and go to options, you're gonna wanna go to key bindings, and you're going to want to scroll down until you find on the left hand side here it's going to say toggle console now i've remapped my keys mine's set to tab i think default might be the plus button but basically just look for toggle cancel and you'll know what button you need so the first thing we do oh hello the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to activate uh the cheats and the way you do that is you hit tabs now you see at the bottom of the screen i've got my consoles open and i can now type in here enable cheats space and now you type in your server admin passwords in our case that was power me all capitals like that and let's see if that worked so now what i have to then do we'll to we've got some basic kind of uh, cheats that are like an arc that you can always do so one for instance would be cheat god that'll put you in god mode make you invincible so nobody can kill you cheat infinite stats that'll give you of course maximum stats cheat fly will allow you to fly around cheat ghost will allow you to kind of fly and move through objects and then you have cheat destroy all enemies and cheat give resources which will automatically give you 50 of all resources so let's just go ahead and see if that cheat worked we're gonna go cheat fly hit enter and now yes if i hit the jump button I'm flying around. Oh, not punching. And the way you get out of this fly mode is you type in cheat walk. And you're back down again. Yeah, so those are the basic uh, things you can do. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's go ahead that cheat resources. Cheat re or give resources. Give resources. There you go. I got 50 of all those things. Let me take a look at my inventory. Oh yeah, it gave me like 50 of everything which I'm now probably can't move. Am I too heavy to, yeah, I'm too heavy to move. <laughs> well, so we'll just drop all. Okay, and now we're gonna get towards the really interesting thing, and that is how to get items. So as I said, uh, I have a list of all the item IDs, and this is how it works. Again, you go into your console and you type cheat space give item num for number, and now you're gonna give that item number. I'm gonna go ahead and put in 580 because I know that's something special. Now, the next one is the amount you want. So let's say I want two of them. And the other, the last one is the quality I want. So I think quality might only go up to 10 or 12. Let's go ahead and try. Let's go ahead and put 12, see what happens. And then we will put, we follow that last one up with uh, zero. Zero basically tells it that I don't want the blueprint. I want the actual item. And now I hit enter. And you see the top of the screen, I got something. Let's check my inventory. I now have a ghost scythe, an epic, and then I got two epics. That's interesting. So we're gonna go ahead and drop these. And we're gonna try this again. Now you can, when you open your console, you can just use your up arrow and that'll give you all your most recent things. And then you can select uh, the cheats you've used before. Let's go ahead and change this to a 10 instead of a 12. And now let's take a look. We got a legendary one and an epic one. And just for uh, complete completeness, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna now change this just to a one, we only want one more, and we're gonna use one, just level one. Did that even work? I didn't get a message up top. Oh yeah, no, it, it, they showed up. So yeah, so now with one, I just got a plain craftable, they're just plain ones. So the numbers are, again, we'll look at it. It's the first number is the item. We'll type one this time, see what comes up. And second is the quantity, let's go for three this time. Next one is the quality. Go for three again this time, why not? And this last one is just telling it you don't want a blueprint, but you want the actual item. 
So we always put a zero basically at the end. You're gonna have to put in four numbers. The last one should be a zero. Hit enter. And let's look. Yep, I got four or three bedrolls rather. So the bedroll didn't have a quality thing. So it didn't matter that I put quality three here. But other things like weapons and armor, they probably will have quality levels. So what's that do? It gives it um, more durability by the looks of it. Oh, that one had a durability 500. Yeah, that one's 514 and this one's 332. Interesting that epic is higher than legendary. So you can learn that today too. Okay, so that's basically everything. That's how you can totally easy set up your server now using the Dark and Light Server Manager. Plus, you now know how you can spawn things in. You just got to make sure you have an admin code, and then you just type in enable cheats and your code, and you're good. And then you uh, check out the list and spawn what you want. So I hope this gets you guys having lots of fun playing Dark and Light on your own servers with lots of friends. And I will say, if you like what you saw here, do hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And even if you don't want to see more, hit the subscribe button anyway, because I'm so close to being able to get a named YouTube channel. I only need about 30 more subscribers. Every subscriber helps. So tell your friends, help get me some subscribes. I'd be really, 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 really thankful. And as always, goodbye, good people. And I'll catch you when I catch you.